welcome to the Daily Dragonfly. Today we're going to be experimenting again with some other things you'll find in your household. Um, we are going to again use this beautiful rich blue cover our paper here with pigment. Using a good amount of water just to get her nice and covered. All right. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to take a sheet of plastic wrap. We're going to kind of place it on here. I'm going to crunch it up a bit first so we get some nice peaks and valleys. And then what I'm going to do is lay it on top of that wet paint and let it dry. So what this should do is you can, I don't know if you can see it right now, but wherever I'm pushing down on that really firmly, we're getting pools of paint. So it's going to give us different textures across here. Now it's important to let it dry. I know you, you, know, you want to pull it off and see what's happened. But I think it's important to let it dry fully because then you're really going to see the effect of what the plastic wrap can do. And not only can you do this with a plastic wrap, but you can do this with any other type of material. I like to use, and I've shown you in the past, paper toweling too, especially some paper towelings have really cool patterns in them, dots and designs and things. And if you just lay it down and it'll absorb right away, you can pull those right off. And they'll add some fun texture too. But yeah, so this week we're just having fun trying different things and experimenting. It's all about play, experimentation. This doesn't take any, you know, there's no fear and fear no art. This takes no talent. It just takes practice makes progress and just playing with what you have available in your house. So again, there was alcohol above. We used salt. We used just air but, and using painting some dots. And now we've just placed a piece of saran wrap on one layer of watercolor. And this works really well especially the saran wrap onto um, a really thick acrylic paint because when you put you can pull it off right away and you'll get these really cool kind of suctiony marks almost like water I've used that a lot in the base of some of my paintings and it's really fun or you can let it dry but the problem with acrylics is it may just capture and keep the plastic on there so if you're using acrylics I like to let it pull off right away while it's wet where watercolor I leave it on while it dries all right Okay, well, we are back and I'm going to do the reveal now on how this dried underneath our plastic wrap. So you just go ahead. Ooh, look at that. Cool. Peel it back. Wow, that has some beautiful, beautiful effects as well. Very geometric looking. That is neat. I love that. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And it almost looks like it's got a shimmer to it, but that's just the way that it picked up the paint, you know, and took it away onto, it transferred most of the, some of the pigment onto that paper. So that plastic wrap, ooh, that is so cool. And if you don't like using plastic wrap or you don't use it, and I barely ever do, um, I would just use different um, paper towels and different techniques will get you different things. And if you don't like buying plastic wrap, you know, a lot of things come wrapped in like a plastic foil. Crunkle that up and use it so you can reduce, reuse, recycle <laughs> as you're doing it. Have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed the Daily Dragonfly. I will see you at the canvas. Mm -hmm.